screen which is bad of course Kevin you're looking at the box score right now obviously there's a lot of numbers that we could point out but when you look at it what stands out most to you in terms of the story of this game um you know I think more than anything it's just uh some things that don't show in the stat sheet as well just us being together uh, obviously we we are down a couple bodies a lot of points a lot of uh, you know, playmaking within our system. But on the defensive end, I think we just need to lock in a little bit more, uh, show effort on that side. But, I mean, it was a, you know, I think we all know and looked out there in that first half, it was, you know, kind of an erratic game as far as, you know, how many times, you know, both teams, but specifically them got to the free throw line, especially in that first half. So there was no continuity, uh, wasn't quite balanced, um, but, at the same time, they, you know, withstood every run that we tried to go on. And at the end, they separated uh, at the end. But we got to shoot better from the free throw line, um, you know, and force them into to tougher shots. I think more than anything, it's a defensive end for us and getting back to that being our identity. I think that's where you're with Hyde. You and I, and I think you would rather have the win, I'm sure, instead. But what type of mentality did you have going into this one? Because you're very aggressive. Um, and Coach just talking about the mentality of you. You're feeling like you've had to score uh, for this team. Um, I just went out there and attacked. Um, there was a lot of fouls. Um, I noticed that uh, sometimes uh, when different players were switched on me, they were in foul trouble, so um, they weren't trying to foul. So it was a little bit easier to get to the rim. Um, and we had a lot of mismatches there switching. So uh, we just played smart and uh, attacked the switches. And I had a lot of uh, mismatches, so I just kept attacking. Again, for some uh, Kevin, what did you see in the, in the fourth quarter out of Evan? Sorry, I was right beside you. I mean, from the beginning, you just see uh, he set the tone for us uh, on the offensive end, took advantage of mismatches, and then like size guys, he just either faced up, you know, took them in the paint, had some tough finishes with the left hand. But I think from the jump, it was just setting the tone offensively for us. But he was, I mean, great all night, 12 for 20 from the field, 12 rebounds. Thought he had more than that, honestly. Um, and, and 29 points is just great tonight. And then, Evan, last thing for me, you know, without having Darius these past two games, where have you seen, I guess, the the, the biggest area where you're, you're missing him the most? Uh, that, um, I feel like just not, it wasn't, it wasn't really our offense these last, past few games, just mostly our defense. Um, we've been slacking in, in different areas and uh, we just got to get back to our identity. Um, I mean, we we were playing pretty well, but uh, we just got to get our get the stops that we normally uh, get get um, and um, get back to how we were playing before. Chris, Chris Peter, Cleveland.com. Kevin, just how difficult is it to find a rhythm in a whistle fest? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you said it. It's 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 not easy at all. Um, you know, we were we were talking about it before we came in here. It just it felt like, you know, first quarter, second. I mean, really the whole game, but that second quarter, there was. I mean, I've never seen such a tight whistle, both sides of the ball, but really on their side, it felt like every time that we, we were stopping. There's there's just no way to get continuity on either side of the ball when you're doing that. And I mean, between um, our bigs, Evan. J.A. and Ed, I mean, they had 10 fouls between them in the first half. But, like, you know, if you if you take their minutes, you know, it's it's you know, I, I can't imagine what the, the the advanced stats would say on, you know, their fouls per possession. I mean, it was just unbelievable. At one point I asked if they're trying to set a record. I mean, it was, it was you know, I hope that doesn't get me in trouble, but it was, you know, it, it was it was. It was a lot, and obviously it evened out with with uh, you know twenty seven to thirty three at the end of the night. But uh, you know, at the on the other side of that, we we got to make our free throws, and we know that we're we're a lot better than we've been shooting it from the free throw line. And for both of you guys, you, you both have talked about the defense. What is it about the defense that has taken a step back recently? Where, where's the problem? Um, I feel like just coming together, um, moving as a unit um, in our spots. Um, a lot of times we get uh, focused on our man or something and we're not in our gaps where we uh, normally are. And um, it's just a little slippage um, and that gets them going and uh, we just got to correct it. And then Evan, for you, what does it do for your confidence on the offensive end 
when you know JB gives you those opportunities late in games when you absolutely need a bucket and calls on you? Um, it does a lot. Um, I I just always try to keep my confidence high. Um, whether it's for me or not, um, I always try to make the best plays for our team. And um, tonight, my number was called. And, uh, I tried to deliver. Thank you. Kelsey, Kelsey you're the athletic. Evan, um, all season, you have been somebody who doesn't foul a ton. Um, and tonight, you tripped four, which is like one of the higher ones through the season. Um, what, what's sort of your mentality in, that, in those situations where, like, you are getting, you know, more fouls called on you that, like, that, that you don't, allow your defense to um, change, I guess? Um, you just got to adjust a little bit, uh, not be as handsy, um, really show the ref that you're in legal position every time, um, and talk to the ref on what you did and try to correct it. Um, and that's really what I try to do tonight. And Kevin, for you, obviously, um, with your experience in the league, you've seen the ups and downs of when these sort of situations happen. Um, so what, what do you tell these guys, you know, when, especially because your identity as a team is so defensively oriented, um, to get back to that? You know, I think Evan said it is we just need to get back to, to who we are and what we're capable of. A lot of that is communication. A lot of that is, like Evan said, closing the gaps on the defensive end. Um, and then just, you know, finding it within ourselves to play extremely hard. You know, I have said all season, the, the two things that we do, really well and, and we typically do every single night uh, is we play really hard and we play defense. So that has been our identity. It's helped us dictate what we do on the offensive end. But uh, even with guys out, we've always stepped up. We've always been next man up the entire year, but we need to get back to our to our winning ways and it starts on the defensive end. Is it sometimes hard when you guys are like are missing pieces. Yeah, I mean like like and it's just sort of one after another after another yeah. and like you're sort of trying to find a rhythm sort of on the fly. Yeah and it's you know we we have a familiarity in our group yet when somebody goes down and there's not, you know, a, a, you know, continuity and, 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 you know, a, a consistent lineup or starting lineup or secondary unit and guys playing together. Yeah. I think that that doesn't always breed success, but I think, you know, I know that everybody goes through that. Um, and the team, some of the teams that have struggled this season, uh, have gone through that when there's been, you know, several different lineups, whether it be to COVID or, or, or injury, but um, no, we, we, we have the, the personnel, we have the group to, to be able to do it. So hopefully we'll bounce back on, uh, on what day it is Friday uh, in Charlotte. So um, that'd be a big, big game for us on Friday. Last two, Chris and then Asher to finish up. Kev, when it comes to Evan, it seems like he does something different every night, the sidestep against Detroit, the fade away tonight from the elbow. What's it like watching his evolution? It's amazing, uh, truly. Um, you know, he, he's just capable of pretty much doing anything he wants out there on the floor. Defensively, he can guard one through five. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful because that hides me sometimes. Uh, but uh, no, he blocks shots. Um, you know, as physical, like I said, can, can step out and, and guard somebody like Steph or, you know, he can guard you know, a guy like Jokic, and that's, you know, so valuable on the offensive end. I don't think uh, he's even scratched the surface of how, how good he can be. And, you know, tonight, like I said, 12 for 20 from the floor, 29 points. Um, I think we all miss free throws tonight, but again, it, it's going to be, you know, kind of mismatches, like, like size guys, whatever he wants out there, that, that side of the ball is going to, uh, you know, continue to grow for him and he's already caught a rhythm and that's not easy, easy to do. Trust me. I mean, I came into this league, uh, you know, playing against some of the greatest players of all time at, at, at that position. Um, and to see, you know, what he's done at 20 years old is, is, is pretty special and not seem to, to, to hit a wall yet. Cause, cause most rookies do, especially when they're seeing heavy minutes. Ashley Bastock, Cleveland.com. I wanted to ask you guys about free throws, actually. I know JB was talking about in, in practices uh, with some of the struggles you guys have been having recently that maybe the routine needs to be taken more serious, like less chit-chatting, things like that. I guess, do you feel like that that is like a tangible change that can happen here? I think we always talk about details. Um, I think every player on this team chases the game. We, we, we don't want to let the next guy down. Um, and, you know, we want to have success and sure, maybe it could be, you know, uh, I don't know, a little, 
less talking throughout, you know, but that's, you know, who we are. We, we, we focus, um, you know, a lot of the time. And, you know, when it's time to get down to business, we, we definitely lock in. But, um, you know, I think that we are a very mature team, even with the young guys that we have, and we will figure this out, definitely, because our intention is there. You know, no matter how we go about our business, our intention is always to, to get better and to do what's best for the team. So I think the, the free throws will come. We're just in a little bit of a, a slump right now when it comes to that, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, I guess, Kevin, like with your role as a vet on this team, like, is there anything you can do to kind of bring, bring the group out of this kind of collective slump you have found yourselves in at the line? No, I mean, I think it's, it's funny because, you know, even I'll, I'll talk about Ev sitting here now, I mean, how many of his have, have gone in and out? It's like, the, the, it's the same shot and we all know what he's capable of. Every, every player on this team is capable of from the line. Same thing with J.A. I see how he shoots the ball, um, you know, whether it be at practice, at shoot around, no matter what it is, like I, I see the way he shoots from the free throw line, you know, myself included, I've missed some free throws. I mean, it's, it's, you know, kind of, throughout the entire team. So I think it's on all of us just to, uh, you know, just get back right at the free throw line. And that could be the difference in, in some of these games that we've lost. Thank you.